Hey, what's up, YouTube? Luke the Window Cleaner. My beautiful wife, Rihanna. Today we are going over our preferred tools for storefront window cleaning. So come with us and clean some windows and we'll also go over our preferred setup. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. So for our solution, we use Dawn. That's the solution that we prefer. We also do like the Mormon Squeeze Deluxe. We just use a professional window cleaning bucket. You could use a five gallon bucket if you wanted to, but your T-bar is not gonna fit too well. Our sleeves, we are huge fans of the Mormon microfiber sleeves. I don't think we've ever found a sleeve that holds as much water and durable like the Mormon sleeve. I prefer the Unger uh, Ergotec T-bar. Uh, Rihanna actually has been using the Mormon T-bar. She says it fits really well. Feels good in your hand. Fits really well in the hand. And for our hand tools for storefronts, uh, we're a big fan of wide body channels. So our go-to is the 18 inch Edaray, is the revised Edaray Super Channel. It was the gold one. And then we are also huge fans of the uh, Unger Ergotech Ninja handles. These are the 40 degree handles. For, we carry a second squeegee, which is the Edaray Ledge Easy. And this is a 14 inch channel. So we typically always carry a 14 and an 18. Um, the only difference on mine is I prefer a brass channel. Rihanna's got a stainless steel. We always uh, suggest that you get it some kind of a hip bucket. The hip bucket that Rihanna prefers, this is a one of a kind, <laughs> at least the color. This is a Mormon hip bucket. Hers is in pink. As of right now, they don't sell pink. Guy, you totally should sell pink. And then mine, you see I have the same setup here, except this is a Polex hip bucket. Uh, the difference is this one has the option of carrying three different squeegees instead of only two. But other than that, uh, it's very similar. And if you guys watch our own YouTube channel, Luke the Window Cleaner, you've definitely seen this tool a lot. This is the Mormon Accelerator. This is the most used tool that we have for pull work. Uh, we use an 18 inch and a 14 inch. On our channel, we also have a video explaining how we do this mod. This tool typically comes with a liquidator channel. This is the Edaray uh, stainless channel, uh, stainless steel channel. Um, but with the flip pad on here, the pivoting action and the option to change your angle, which comes uh, real handy for cleaning around obstacles, say if you have to be really close to a window, far away from a window, whatever it may be, uh, this comes in really handy. The thing I like about a pivoting pull tool is that pretty much once this tool goes up, I never have to bring it down. So if you're doing straight pulls, you'll be bringing your tool uh, up and down, up and down, up and down, changing from squeegee to mop, squeegee to mop. Uh, once this goes up, I just clean all of my windows until I'm done, and then I can go back and do it with uh, hand tools unless someone's working with me, and they're just coming right behind me, clean all the bottoms. So uh, this tool, it does take a little bit of practice to get the hang out, but I think once you do, uh, you'll find this is an invaluable uh, addition to your storefront window cleaning. As far as it goes for poles, we use a variety of different poles. Um, we use aluminum extension poles. We have uh, a shorter Edaray uh, extension pole here. This is great for just, just barely out of reach windows and restaurants. I like it because of the collapsed length. This is a, I think this is an eight or a, eight or 16 foot uh, Unger OptiLock pole. This is a really great pole. Uh, the reason I suggest these because everything on it is replaceable. Steve-O just did a video, a review on this, and I'll leave a link in the description below. We have a longer, uh, cheaper Unger pole here. These are the type you find at your Home Depot or Lowe's. They're okay, but the locks tend to break pretty fast. Uh, then you get a lot of problems with twisting when you don't want it to twist. I get a lot of questions about this pole. This is a carbon fiber uh, water fed pole that's been converted to a trad pole. Um, this is great for uh, upper, say if I'm cleaning anything 10 feet and above, I will definitely want to use this. It has a lot less flex, uh, which means it's a little bit more accurate to use as a pole. And also uh, there's less energy wasted on cleaning because there is no flex in the pole. So as far as it goes for towels, we really just use, um, so we use a few different towels. This is the uh, facelift fish scale, which I am really liking. It's kind of big, 
but uh, I really like it. And Rihanna has recently switched over to the scrim, which is even bigger, but I think it's better. This is my second day using it, so. How do you like it so far? Well, like my second day using it without washing. <laughs> okay. It's good. Um, why do you like it better than a uh, surgical towel? Um, stays dry. And it'll pretty much last you like no matter what. Last me like all day long. Okay. This is day two. <laughs> and then our towels uh, for cleanup, like uh, slop, we just use uh, cotton towels. And then I've actually switched over to using the uh, Turkish towels that you can find at WCR. I like them just because I could pretty much use one or two of these all day long. And WCR um, does have the scrim. I checked online. I actually mentioned it in a video that I did for our channel, but uh, WCR does sell it. And we still use the uh, surgical towels too. Uh, I keep three or four in my pouch. I think Rihanna also keeps three or one in her pouch. We keep a lot in our pouches. Um, for vinyl signage, so if there's a uh, vinyl sign on a window, we'll we'll clean it up with the, with the huck towel. For the outside of buildings for the water, instead of using our cotton towels to clean it up, uh, we have an air hammer holster here, and we have little three or four inch squeegees, and these are for cleaning up the water off of the ledges on the outside of storefronts. All right guys, I hope this video has helped. We're at home, it's a Saturday, so we kind of made it a short day. Um, we just wanted to go over some of the basics that we use in our storefront window cleaning. One thing I did forget to cover, uh, another go-to for us is Quad Zero Steel Wool. It's right here. Uh, we use this for greasy fingerprints. It's a, a great abrasive pad to uh, quickly remove any of that stubborn debris off of the windows, and it does it safely as well. Guys, don't forget, Window Cleaning Resource uploads new content every Monday, Wednesday, and of course, Friday with Jersey Josh uh, for his podcast, Nation. If you have any questions or comments, please list them below, and I'd like to hear from you guys, what are some of the tools that you use in your everyday commercial or storefront window cleaning? All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on YouTube. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you don't miss a video. And if you just need some more Luke in your life, check out his channel at Luke the Window Cleaner on YouTube.